my phone right now. Watch it be a hacker. Okay, that's weird. Oh my god. Hey chicas, how are you? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm really excited for today's video because you guys really do like these type of videos, especially when I'm packaging them. But I'm gonna be doing it kind of like a little tutorial style way. So if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Monica and I really do appreciate you clicking on this video because if you like hustle, manifestation, just kind of getting on your grind and making your own money, then this video is definitely for you because all I want is for the best for everybody, including myself. And tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I just kind of want to give you guys like a happy early Thanksgiving. I'm actually filming this a day before Thanksgiving, but by the time you're watching it, it'll already probably be Thanksgiving or probably after Thanksgiving. But I just want to let you guys know that I am super appreciative for all of you guys. I literally would not be here doing what I do without you, without your guys' support and that just is really amazing to me so anyways 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 i'm gonna be showing you guys how i ship out orders how i basically print the shipping labels for my orders what materials i use for my orders what is happening with my hair right now sorry i have the heater on and overall really cool tricks you can do for branding thermal label printers that i personally have right here that i will be reviewing for you guys as well so without further ado let's continue with the video okay so i actually have quite a few labels that i have to do so this is like literally my daily i use this all the freaking time and I actually really love it because it just works really great and I haven't had any complications with it But this is the IDPRT thermal label printer. What model is this? This is the SP410 That's the model. So they have different models. I'll review the other one in just just a moment Just give me a sec. And it comes with two cables one to like connect it and the other one to connect to the computer So we're gonna do that right now Sorry for the awkward angle, but anyways, so I get these from UPS for free, but they come connected in twos But I prefer to have them in one So I invest a lot of time just folding it like this because I have a label holder for when I print out labels just so it's like not messy because if you guys watched some of my older videos it'd be not too messy but it would just be a little bit disorganized and I just kind of like things organized Okay, so I already have these folded up and I actually wanted to show you guys this. You can actually get pink ones on Amazon and I'm going to show you why I have pink ones in just a moment. So I already have this chilling here, but for now, I'm just going to make sure I'm going to point... What the... Why is this two-sided? Hold up. Wait a minute. These are stuck together. So I just put it on my label holder and I make sure that the blank side is facing upward because I'm going to be feeding it towards the printer. So I got this adapter because my MacBook does not have like a USB port so you can buy an adapter that literally comes with everything. This is for my wireless mouse, this is for my LED light, we have an SD card for the little one and the big one and I have an extra USB port that I'm just gonna try and connect. One, okay, yeah. One handed is not gonna work out. Hold on. Go in. Oh my god, literally everyone struggles with this. Not me struggling on camera. So, this is the on button that I'm just gonna press and it should light up. Super easy. So, I need to make it fit and it has to fit kind of snug and it will automatically just feed it through for you and it's ready. Now, I hit print so it should come out. And now I have my shipping labels. I personally really like how it's fast. It's a pretty easy process. Thermal label printers only require heat, which is a really good investment if you're starting a business because then you don't gotta waste your money on ink. And in my opinion, this printer is a lot more affordable. So if you guys are definitely wanting quality, especially on a budget, I highly recommend this printer. So if you guys want it, I'll just link it down in the description box for you. 
and they're having a sale right now so that's like really really good like like you'll be saving even more money okay so i already printed out all the invoices and the shipping labels but i want to show you guys something else that's really cool that you can do for like branding in the spirit of the holidays and thanksgiving and christmas i'm making a love letter for people who have ordered recently so i'm going to include the letters and i'm going to print them out in the pink labels and include them in every order for this batch and if you guys are wondering what i'm using to create this love letter thingamabob i use canva so now i'm just going to set the size which is four by six inches make sure it's the printer which it is and then print <laughs> And these are the love letters I made for all the customers that I'll be like packing orders for right now but you can do a lot with the printer you can print images make little stickers your invoices the shipping labels literally a lot you can do a lot okay we got to pack orders Okay, it's much later, but imagine having this and this rolled all into one and you get this literally I feel like people prefer to have these ones just because there's less mess around because you're literally loading the paper Into the machine and then you don't got to worry about like put it like setting it up and like all that like ugh. So this is what it looks like. This is in the model. This is model SP420 and it might look really big But it's really light and believe me I have really bad wrists by the way if you guys are wondering what lashes I'm wearing I got them from audacity cosmetics. They launch on Thanksgiving Day probably by the time you're seeing this So if you want to go check that out you can ports are in the back and basically what I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to make your own stickers This one is more like for the roll labels like the label rolls and basically how you load it is you just literally lift this thing up and it's like a it's like a toilet paper roll basically and then you're all set so all you gotta do is press this button and literally one of it will come out so that's how you know like it works you know and replace it with this one so this one's pretty big i'm scared that's too big actually actually no i know it's gonna fit these stickers are kind of stuff so i'm gonna i'm just gonna These two, you gotta size it up. So I'm just gonna make it go down a little bit, flatten it so it can go through here. That's how you load it. And then we're gonna set this down and the light just turned green and it's just gonna adjust itself. It literally adjusts itself by the size. See? I recommend you guys use Canva. Canva has made my life so much easier with branding because you can design pretty much anything you want on there and size it down to the size of the sticker and it will literally print it out. And you're not really spending any money if you know what I mean because you're not using any ink. It's literally just heat on paper and it prints it out for you. Okay, so this is my account but you can go to create design and then do custom size. And I'm gonna make sure this is in... Wait, was it millimeters or inches? I can't remember. No, yeah, it was in inches. And the size for that sticker label is... Wait, I gotta think. It's 1.25 by 2.25, if I am correct. Right? No, 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 no. This is the opposite. This is 2.25, and this one's 1.25. Ugh, because it's gonna do it by the width by the height so then you should get this blank masterpiece and i'm just gonna add some text i want to say thank you for your order actually i feel like that's too long i'm gonna just say thank you I'm going to enlarge, change the font. I want to make it bold. That is too skinny because I want to make it thick and I want to make it 
bold so they know I'm serious when I say thank you. And for instance, if I have an upcoming restock, then I'll enter it here. But because tomorrow's Thanksgiving and that's like the restock day, I'm gonna put something else. By saying leave a review, your feedback is appreciated. But it looks kind of awkward there, so I'm gonna go to elements, put line, click that line and then that's oh that's way too thick so i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna make it thinner by putting like what two and to make it feel a little bit more personal i'm going to say an amazing thanksgiving and i kind of want to put some hearts i'm going to copy it but i want to i want it to reflect so we're gonna flip it horizontally see that's cute and then you're left with your design and then all you gotta do is click it i'm gonna switch it to the sp420 because that's one that i'm using right now and we're gonna click print and i want you guys to see it just like come out see Oh, ooh, actually, this one's a lot quicker than the first one, actually. And you get a cute sticker. See, it's cute. That's how you make stickers. <laughs> what is going on with my phone right now? Watch it be a hacker. Watch it be a hacker. What? Okay, that's weird. Oh, my God. What the? I'm literally not even touching it. Sir, ma'am, get away from my phone. Oh. Anyways, now we have stickers. Wow, quality. Okay, I am officially done with orders. There's more beside me, but there's a lot going on in my office right now, so I'd rather not show the chaos. But after this, I have to start making more product, so... As always, I'm very thankful that you guys have watched the entire video. For the printers that I have demonstrated in this video, I will leave the links and how much you'd be saving with the Black Friday sale in the description box. Because if you're someone who's like, I don't know if I should start a business, I don't even know what to do. Well, when you feel ready, because if you feel like it's your calling, then it's your calling, like go for it. I would say that this is a really good first investment when you're shipping, just because you won't be spending on ink over and over and over again throughout the year. I really do hope that you guys had a really good Thanksgiving though and that you guys had a lot of really good food if you guys have any questions or you guys want to leave a comment definitely do so and i hope that you guys have a good morning good afternoon and a good night from wherever you are in the world bye chicas